Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, uh, Mix Medina. Uh, in this video tutorial, we will explore the process of setting up dedicated uh, home folders and storage quota limitations for Active Directory users on Windows Server 2022. A home folder serves as a private network location where uh, users uh, can securely store their personal files or backup important files. Um, these folders are typically stored within a shared directory on a file server. Today, I will use the domain control server for now for uh, this demo because I don't have dedicated file server. So if you have a dedicated file server, you can just uh, uh, configure the same. Okay, let's go. So I will, uh, I have a Windows Server 2022 and I already uh, uh, configure the DNS, DHCP, and uh, Active Directory. So, uh, um, first we need to uh, create a folder. So, when I uh, reformat this uh, Windows Server, I make a partition for, uh, for example, like a file server. This one. So for example, this is a file server. So, I will create a folder for the home home uh, folders for the users. Home folder. Then once you create a home folder, just right click, right click. Then uh, go to sharing. Go to advance and click sharing. Now you need to for the best practice. Uh, because this one it will uh, detect to our network so just make underscore home folder underscore then to uh, for the security reason uh, we need to put the dollar sign so it will hide within the network so make put a comment so the the uh, the maybe the the other it will uh, uh will understand what is the purpose of this uh home folder why why the why the why the why the previous it created this folder okay so let's say this folder is for all stuff okay done then go to permission so as you can see it's uh, everyone so we need to remove then add the uh, uh, domain users because domain users will use this uh, folders right you will create folders for domain users okay pull control and apply okay and apply okay so we are done for the sharing now we are uh, we need to go to here in security then go to advance then we need to remove some uh, allow users here so if you click this one and then remove, there's an error. You can't remove the user. So to do that, just disable the inheritance, inheritance, then convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. Okay, now you are now allowed to remove this. Remove. So just uh, yeah, no need to remove this. Creator owner, system and administrator. Just apply and okay. So next is here i need to click the edit i will add the uh, there is one administrator for the backups so this administrator can uh, access all the files if they need to backup some files if the user already uh, already left the company so they can backup the files or they can uh, uh, they can uh, prep, uh, perform the backup so we need to click add then I remember what is the name backup backup yeah this one this two administrator backup operations users okay. allow modify apply okay close we will create the users for creating home folders so now i i think i didn't uh, create users so i will create now i will 
create new users. So I will pass forward this. Uh, So now I have uh, new users. I will give these three users uh, dedicated home folders. So now after the creating of the users, um, we need to go here to our uh, drive file server first. So right click, we will create the quota, like uh, limitation for the storage per, uh, per users. So we will do it like uh, per users 10, uh, 10 GB only for 10 users. Uh, uh, per users okay so let's go uh, right click the file server drive go here uh, click the quota then enable this one enable then enable this one these two after that uh, just uh, make the quotation a uh, quota in entries okay now we are here the quota entries as you can see there's no uh, entries now so I will create a new entry, new quota entry. Then you put the new uh, newly created users. For example, Coco uh, Martin. I create a new uh, ID uh, username is user three. Colon. Jose De Guzman is uh, med 004. Colon. And Sigu is uh, med. 005 so check names okay that's it this is the three users i created and click ok okay now we need to uh set the limitation the quota uh so click here now we will uh you uh, select the gb so 10 gb so per user 10 gb then set the warning uh, like uh, MB like 1000 so 1 GB once the 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 storage uh, uh, reach the one uh, like uh, there is a free 1000 it will warning set the warning so click OK no now it's uh, created 10 10 10 10 so if you have a newly users you can just add manually here okay or you have uh, another like uh, existing users that uh, needs to add to the, the file server home folders you can do it manually okay so it's already here now um, if the user uh, requested that uh, you, she needs or he, uh, he needs to uh, increase the file server just right click this one properties then you can just add like five, uh, 15 okay so it will increase five uh, five uh, gb only like that okay so now we are done with the quota entries close apply okay okay now it's done so as you can see still uh, the folder is still empty there's no user so what we, do, we will do is we will uh, uh, yeah we will create or we will uh, create now the users uh, folders inside of this home folder to do that just uh, right click this home folders properties sharing then copy this network path okay then in uh, in active directory just uh, select all the users the new new uh, new created users right click then properties so all of this is selected go to uh, prop profile then go to home folder and click connect and copy the uh, network path so in this case we need to put the slash uh, percent percentage then uh, uh, username user name so it will automatically create the folders there and also dedicate uh, the username for this path so for the best practice we need to use the letter H home folders letter H H so, 
apply okay now it's done let's see one uh, user so when you see the profile it will automatically uh, yeah select the uh, or input the med004 when we put the uh, uh, percentage and the uh, username percentage like that. okay now let's see if the folder is created so I'm here now in the full home folder now it's created so let's see the permission number uh, number 005 it's go right so let's see the sharing and the security so now Coco, uh, Coco Martin so Coco Martin is now the owner of this folder so only he uh, she uh, he can uh, edit write or uh, copy some files okay now let's uh, log in these three uh, uh, users and check if it's the the home drive is uh, already there so now i need to open the two laptops for example this one from hyper uh, assuming this is the two laptop so uh, before we created the username like med003 med004 med005 okay so we will log in here I will log in the other one, uh, med003 first. Let's check first med003. So these two laptops already joined to the domain. So Joe said the Guzman. So let's uh, sign out this. Then log in the med004. Let's see. So now it's here. Let's check. If the... Okay, now it's here. As you can see, med 003 with the uh, username. Then what is the storage capacity so 10 GB only okay so if you didn't set this uh, limit it will uh, uh, show that here is uh, 100 uh, 100 GB uh, total of the hard disk so now this is the limitation okay so the other PC it should be yeah med 004 let's see okay 10 gb also okay so uh, let's see if we can create the files here new folders new text okay same with the med003 folders okay this one okay let's see in the file server so let's go here here file server so med003 the file is here okay med004 also the file is here med005 okay we will test also wait let's sign out this sign out and let's see Coco Martin okay. so I we uh, in my experience we use this one in uh, my previous company so users uh, have dedicated uh, home folders or home drive in their uh, so let's see should be yeah it's here accessible then what is the capacity of the storage 10 gb so now there is a 
uh, some scenario like uh, users it's already uh, uh, full the this home folder it's already read and full you cannot copy in it uh, anymore so the user will uh, request from the IT support they said I need to increase uh, like I need to increase this uh, um, uh, I need to, I need to increase the space of my store uh, home folder like that so and the uh, in the organization there's a limitation for this so sometimes the user can only increase like 5 5 GB or uh, for the VIPs they can increase like 100 100 GB okay so this is only uh, tips so now let's see uh, for example this uh, user 005 uh, he uh, requests for uh, increase what we will do is go to server, um, go to quota, uh, properties, go to quota, quota, quota entries. So, what is the name of this user? 005, right? The username. Okay. So, properties, then let's add, make it 15. Five. Apply. Okay. Now let's go to, uh, to the PC. Let's see if it's uh, without sign up. Sign up. Yeah. Now it's fifteen. See. Right away. Increase. Okay. So even the user disconnect this. Okay. Just sign out. And login again. Okay. It's here. It's 15. So, that's it. This is the file. Uh, home folders or home drive for the user uh, dedicated users with the uh, quota storage quota limitation so i hope you enjoy our uh, uh, tutorial video so like and share and comment to my uh, uh, to this video and uh, thank you for watching